Welcome to the series, Mastery Composer Elements. Today's video will show you in detail how to add a slider element on any page using eComposer. The slider element helps you add multiple images or text without page scroll. You can click on left-right arrows to navigate between multiple images slash text in the slider. You will probably see a slider on the home page of most websites because it helps the home page look more lively and attractive than a regular banner. Now, go to the Shopify dashboard, select App, and open eComposer Page Builder. In case you haven't installed the app, you can find the link to eComposer on Shopify App Store in this video description. Now choose an existing page that you want to add slider element. You can also create a completely new page by clicking the Start Building button here. Welcome to eComposer Editor. At the Element tab, find Slider Element in the Element tab and drag and drop it into the position you want. At this time, Slider Preset Library will appear. Preset is a feature available in almost elements of eComposer. It is simply pre-built elements with stunning style and appearance. Details about Element Preset you can see in the Element Preset video here. With Slider Element, you will be provided with many templates to help create your tabs simpler than ever. If you want to use Tabs Preset, select a template and click the Use Full Preset button here. In case you don't want to use it anymore, just click that button again. In the Content tab, you can add content to elements using the Elements settings. First is the Slide section. Here, you can click Add a new slide to add more slides. In addition, you can also clone, delete, or move slides. To edit the image of each slide, just click on the slide you want to edit. eComposer provides you with a treasure trove of extremely high-quality free photos. And you can also upload any photos you want. At the same time, you can change the content of each slide by clicking on each content displayed on the slide. In particular, you can add a link to the background image if you want, this option will make your wallpaper clickable. Additionally, you might modify the image size and position. Ensure that the image on the slider has the greatest design possible. With content width, you can adjust the width of the slider element. For example, please drag the progress bar to 100% if you want a full width slider. If you set it below 100%, there will be space on either side of the slider. You can set the width for different devices. Similar to custom height, you can change the height of an element to display the background image fully. And you should order each device a different size. In the Vertical Align option, you can align the position of the content block with the slider element to the top, middle, or bottom. Second is Slider Settings section. In this tab there are many options to configure your slider, the option names are easy to understand such as Transition Effect, Centered Slides, Infinite Loop, etc. So you don't need to worry about them. Next is Animation section. Here you can set the animation for the content block in the slider that will appear when the slide advance to the next one. Ok, now let me go to the Design tab. The Design tab is divided into two sections, Slide and Navigation. They allow you to design for that element. With the Slide section, you are allowed to edit the entire animation, background, border, border radius, and spacing of the slides. Note that you have three editing options including Normal, Hover and Active. Normal is the pagination you see first when browsing the slider element. Hover is the tag you see when you hover your mouse over it. And Active is your current position as a slider. You can customize both with different designs. The Navigation section is divided into two main groups, Navigator and Pagination. Navigator group helps you design your navigator the way you want such as size, rotation, color, background color, border radius, and spacing. And pagination helps you set the pagination's width, height, and more for the normal, hover or active effect.
To finish editing, I need to save and publish this page. Alright, I have successfully added in slider section to my page. Let's check it out. That is the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button for our channel. If you don't have a Shopify account, feel free to click on the link we attached in the description below. The newest Shopify exclusive deal is waiting for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the eComposer community to get quick support and the latest updates. I'm putting the details in the description below. See you next time.